I feel like if you added a bonk sound effect, it, it'd go perfectly. It's a spade. Um, I, I could also use a map. Let me just check. Yeah, that's kind of locked. And I certain mostly don't want to go that way. So I think the only way really to go back is to go now, is to go back now that we're a little bit more equipped. Pretty sure this is locked too. Yeah, because see, they like mix it so it's like, oh, it makes sense. Here's Leon's trailer, here's Claire. Like, that door's already locked. And from part one of Leon, which is the only part I actually remember, you know, he locks himself inside. So it makes sense. And things of that nature. Like, they make it make sense so well, and I'm very happy as a result. I think saving now would probably be a good idea. I wish I had more of healing items, though. It kind of bothers me that I don't. Oh, it really bothers me that I don't, because I'm going to die really soon. I can hang on to that, I guess. I don't think I'm going to need it, but I mean, I'd rather be safe at this point in time. Where do I want to save? We'll save over this one, firstly. Also, it kind of like hit me. The reason it's red, I'm willing to bet, is because that's the color of her outfit while Leon's is blue. If I were to make any sort of assumption, I think that would be the most educated one. Also, as far as terms of power goes, I don't really know if the grenade launcher counts as anything more or less powerful than the shotgun. Oh, that's very uncomfortable. <laughs> Ow, don't do that. I don't even want to go forward. Is there, there's a guy right there at my feet. Am I limping? Yes, I don't have any health though. It's okay, because I know where some is. I just gotta make it there. Oh, we're not gonna make it there, are we, Claire? Say no, say no we're not. <laughs> Especially not if what I th No, that doesn't happen just yet. Oh. <sighs> So there was a certain mode in Resident Evil 1 that I mentioned, but never showed off. And I'll explain it a little bit, because it's kind of relevant to this. To the B scenario, it's going to be having a lot in common. Some, a lot in common. There you go. Now we can live to limp another day, but I want to make it down these stairs. and Grab a few more. We can do it, Claire. Come on. You're gonna have to fight for me. <laughs> you have to fight for me, no one else. Okay. There we go. And then use that. And then we'll be fine! Yay! It just bothers me that I only have one grenade left. I'm trying to think on where some more could be. Because I don't know. I mean, here's some ammo. We can just steal it from this guy's pocket right there. Yeah, I don't think... No, that's a... I don't remember which one that is. You can already see there's an item here, which wasn't there before. That's kind of useful. Please go away. I'd appreciate some... some distance. That guy's just kind of standing there in the door. Thank you. Are you gonna come out now? Freeze! Pretty please! I think he's stuck on a wall. Eh, kinda.
It'd be really nice if I could see the guy I'm shooting. <laughs> there he is. Okay, I think he's dead now. Only took forever. And a lot of ammo. Uh, I think we can make it, though. Because that is kind of one concern I do have, is, like, how my ammo gets used. Isn't there something back here? There's health. That's good. And there's more. That's good. And there doesn't appear to be anything else here. So that's it. Really just kind of that in the valve. Alright, let's see if I can open this. Now, it's a little bit of a cheat because I already know the code, but you'll see how you are supposed to figure it out. Oh, thank God. Oh, yes, I can. And, of course, I want that map. Okay, I thought I did something. Yeah, that's the difference is Claire has a lock pick as to where Leon had the lighter. So, that's, yeah. Um, also, the grenade launcher's little gimmick, I suppose, is in trade, it has unlimited ammo. Like, you can store up to 50 or so rounds. Like, I've never had that much. You can store a lot of rounds inside the grenade launcher. The trick is that it has, like, three types of ammos. Each of them with their own little unique effect. So, regular shells, acid shells, and the third one, which I think is probably the most powerful, but I mean, it also depends on what enemy you're using it on. I don't know the way it is, but I'm just going to make estimates on it, kind of like how I did on the first game. Should I, or should I not? Let's go forward, I use that, I make room. Eh, huh? Yeah, we're going for it. Leave me alone. You cannot do anything to harm me, except for that. Please get off, please get off, I really appreciate that. Oh god. I'm about to sign my own tombstone here in a minute. Are you, are we ready, Claire? It's about to get real here. Actually wait, that still needs to be carried with me. Crap. Fuck this game. That's it. Okay, let's go then. Actually, wait, isn't... There's nothing in there, isn't I think there's supposed to be ammo in there, actually. It, good enough. That's good enough to make me switch them out. Like, I was just gonna use the one shell and then be like, Okay, I've got room, and then use the acid, but... Uh, that's a great voice crack. That right there is Trenchcoat Man. I don't like him. Or his trench coat. Oh. Okay. And there he is! And here's the thing. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Again. Please run away, please run away, please run away. Inside of Resident Evil 1, they give you a thing, if you do well enough, where Forrest, the guy you get the grenade launcher from as Jill, will run around the mansion chasing you, and if you attempt to attack him, you die instantly because he's strapped with the grenades and you just shot him, which activated it and blew yourself up. And that's what made it harder. Inside of this game, you get this guy, which I believe goes under the name of Super Tyrant, if I'm not mistaken. This guy cannot be killed. He is invincible, 
and he is not going to make our day any more exciting. So I don't like him. At all. Whoa, what did that? Don't do that. He's not so bad at this moment. I think he's just going to stay in that hallway for a little bit, but uh, yeah. Sorry about that, I was eating. Very insensitive of me, right? As stupid as it is, the first time I heard that, that actually kind of got to me. Like, it made me, like, shaky. It made me on edge. I didn't like it. I still kind of don't. And yeah, we'll figure it out eventually. Oh my god. Uh. Isn't there something else here? Oh, yes, there's that. That's where I get it from. Okay. Yeah, alright, we gotta come back here later. Hi. Shit! What the hell happened? He killed me. Okay, let's take it from the top now. Hi. Go on. Crawl towards me. I'll just do that. I think he's dead. Huh. Well, there you go. Um, differences in health and ammo, of course, are probably expected. Uh... Above that, everything should be pretty much the same. Did I say health? If I did, then good. If not, then shit. It's nice to be back here, though, and actually playing the game again. I'd be lying if I said I felt super comfortable, though, because at any minute something bad could happen, and I'd be like, well, shit. And then I put the game down, and I never played again because my feelings were hurt. I want the card key, but I also kind of want to take that shell just so I can get rid of it. Because I imagine there's going to be a situation really soon where I'm going to need to use it. Because they get it really, really close with the ammo here in the beginning, but after a while, you kind of you kind of get it. Let me just... Because I think it's, uh... Unless maybe I'm wrong... I'm really just expecting something bad to happen. That's... What's it? Not optimistic attitude. There you go. I remember when I was younger, people would call me a pessimist. And they're like, you remember Funny Nemo where they asked half full or half empty? And I always said half empty because I thought half full sounded stupid. Because the two F's, the half full, like it sounds like you'd trip over it when trying to say it. So that's why I always preferred the term half empty. But people were like, oh no, you're so negative. See, now whenever people call me negative, I'm like, no, I'm not negative, I'm right. And then one time someone said, no, you're not. And I was like, see, now that's a pessimistic attitude. God, I'm such a genius. <laughs> uh, I'm discussing irrelevant shit while playing Resident Evil. To be fair, like, how often do I ever talk about the game that I'm actually playing? It's either, like, the beginning... Where it's like, okay, here's the game mechanics, and then it's like, it's done. And that's usually the extent of it. Right! You're a zombie. Go away. Please. I don't like the idea that you're right there. I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna read this real quick. Um, but yeah, no, I hardly ever really talk about the game that much. And then see, there's the code. So you'd find it there, and I'd just save myself backtracking as well. Why are you in here too? Go away. Can't you see I'm trying to have a lovely... And then there's another guy? Go away. Please. I even said please. Help! He's after my lady parts. And I kicked your head off. Hey, that is so wrong. Kicked your head off too. No, I'm in... 
caution zone land. And I could use a little bit more ammo. Before I actually bother doing anything about it, I want to check something though, and that would be this. This is what the lockpick is for, so that's great. And we get a fade spray, which I don't want. I don't like fade sprays that much. Yeah, I think I can go around this way. I think this would be a nice way to go. I can go ahead and deposit that. I don't know if I want to heal or not. That's my uh, hesitation, because it's like, if I don't, chances are I'll die. If I do, chances are it'll be a waste. So that's what I'm trying to bet on right now. Is there something back there? No. I was looking at that looks like orange thing orange yellow thing right there actually Claire but whatever you're the boss right it's too dark to see you to the outside Claire no it's not probably it's probably not 